Petoskey is one of those lakeshore communities that provides a scenic backdrop for activities all year round. I've enjoyed the scenery here during both summer and winter months. Today I'm hiking the Riverbank Trail in the Bear River Valley Recreation Area, so let's go exploring. Photographing areas with water, the composition of the subject matter remains the same in that you want to frame it. So I've got some bushes on the left and I've got some bushes on the right. And so you have some overhanging greenery, you've got the river centrally located, and you've got some points of interest across the river in the form of the fallen trees. You could also focus on the little yellow flowers in the foreground to my left and right here is kind of a quiet little area in other shots maybe there you're going to see more of the rapids so this is a quiet little interlude so your picture should kind of reflect that quietness and nature of this area Now this is a little noisier vista. You can actually see the rapids over here. Your main focus may be on the rapids, but also include the area surrounding it. For example, I like this root in the ground with greenery coming up. It gives a detail of the area. And you might want to get a detail of some flowers, whatever's blooming in the area, or the shape of rocks. Or reflections and then there's across the bank which is somewhat in shade so you can use that to frame your shot as well here's one of those exercises in composition so there's some blooming probably weeds across the bank for me and it's pretty the lights hitting it nice there's some greenery around it but if I just take a picture from here straight on, it's okay, but it's not the greatest. I would prefer that you move down a little bit and use the river as your pathway and have it on an angle. And then the, the blooms are on your left. So as the water rolls down through your picture, creating a diagonal leading line, the flowers balance it on the top left and it just creates more of interest in your composition. I've talked a lot about framing up your shot so that your composition is of interest. So I've done just that. So there's a tall tree to my right. There's overhanging branches above, kind of center and then the river runs on a diagonal line through the composition. So that way it gives somewhere for the eye to look throughout your composition and it pulls in the viewer. And next to the river is this pathway. Look how scenic this is with the tree bending over the path a little bit. Now, of course, I'm standing right in the middle of the path and I've talked about that before. You wanna move so that that path is also on an angle. Maybe you can include both in your shot so that you have two diagonal lines or two leading lines, but then that tree is going to be dead center. So this, for me, would probably be two compositions with the tree on the right. Right now I'm on the bridge that spans the width of the river. And just like with pathways, a good rule of thumb is to look both ways. So here's one side of the river, and then you turn around, and here's the other side. And both of them have different views. So you have branches crossing over, adding something to your composition, some points of interest. And the rapids look different. You can see the bend in it. And 
over here, there's also a curve that goes around the corner. So just like I said, just like paths, this is another opportunity to look forward and look back and see what you can see. Now here's where creative composition comes into play because here's a drainage for the waterway but when it's not in the shot, it looks like a little waterfall. So think about what you want in your shot and what you don't want in your shot and move around accordingly to make it look better. And while it's unlikely that these rocks were placed here naturally over time and with all the water, they've taken on an aged appearance. Now I've taken this hike during the winter months. So here's some pictures from that hike. You notice how different the landscape looks with a blanket of snow. I've crossed to the other side of the river and it's a little quieter over here as you can tell. And the path is different too, it's more woods. I love coming upon little views like this because the light is just hitting it gently and there's the flower going straight up on the left, diagonal line, leading line with the fallen limb, and then some more plants on the bottom to balance it out. And it's just a quiet little detail of this area and most people are just gonna walk by it and not notice it. But fortunately for me, I saw it because I'm always looking around, seeing what else is out there, and looking for moments just like this. And today's Tom tree is this guy along the bank. Look at that. So I already took pictures when I was on the path, details, doesn't look that healthy in some areas. That trunk is weathered, seen better days, but it's full of character and that's what I look for. And this is the best I can get of it from this viewpoint with the sun shining right on it. to see what Petoskey has to offer, whether it's parks or outdoor activities during any season, check out petoskey.us. Thanks for exploring with me. Thanks for watching my video. I hope you liked it and learned something new. If you did, consider subscribing to my channel and getting notified when a new video posts. And I hope to see you out on the trails.